Okay, so on this section, we are going to talk about chatter groups. So what are chatter groups? So in a chatter group, there can be many users. And if you post a chatter, everybody in the group will get the chatter and will get the notification. So there can be a public chatter group or a private chatter group. It's obvious by the name. If it's public, everybody can see the chatter being posted on the group. And if it's private, only the group members can see it. All right. Let's go ahead and set up these two chatter group sales and support. I'm going to go ahead onto my playground over here and launch my admin cert playground. So follow along to get the, well, there is no challenge. It's just a question. Oh, there is. Yeah, there is a challenge. So follow along as we go. So first, um, let's launch the app launcher here and then search for groups. There are groups. I'm going to create the first one. So this is always recently viewed. Whenever you go onto a new list, you can see my group or active group, but we got nothing. This is a playground. So let's hit new and create our all sales group. I'm just going to copy everything exactly so we can pass the challenge all sales description is collaboration space for all things related to sales copy that guy save and next um let's see it's a public not not a private one so don't save and next yet I am the owner and allow customers broadcast only. It doesn't explain it here, but it's an obvious um, allow customers. It's it means customers uh, if you are using a community cloud. So users from outside your internal users can actually see this, right? If a broadcast only it means that you can only uh, uh, broadcast so either people can't can't be involved in a conversation so it means you you are the only one who's broadcasting as a one way like a like a loudspeaker they can talk back to you right so i'm, I'm going to leave that unchecked and i'm going to save and next no need to, to upload an image, but you can post an image for this group. And we're not going to add more members yet because this is a playground and we only have one user assigned to it. So that's the chatter group for all sales. It's public. Now let's share an update and say this exact phrase. So on, on the chatter here, you can click share an update here, click there, and then you just post that. Welcome to the all sales group, which replaces the all sales email list. You share that. So if you're, you can see his, there is the post. If you have a users or users um, in the group already, they will get this notification. All right. So next up is all support chatter group. So let's go back here, the same process, but now we are going to create a private one. So groups over here. And I'm gonna hit the new button, new. I'm gonna copy it so we have exactly the same one. All support. Description would be collaboration space for all things related to support. And scroll down. I am the owner. I'm going to change it's a private and leave everything as is and next. 
and next and done we can't invite anybody yet since it's a playground so i'm going to post my first welcome to all support group over here copy that share an update over here boom share so if this all support group which is a private one has users in it this will send a chatter post to these users and they will know about this post all right that's a wrap oh no not yet post a link to all the support group that explains how to use the app mentions on all on the all support group page post the following message hi support people okay and then we can add a link there so post again there and then you can actually put a link so this is just to show you you can add a link like that note ensure your formatting is identical to the picture below oh why is that because the challenge is actually is actually checking this okay so i'm going to share this update boom there so it needs to look like that which it does okay and then that's a wrap so that's basically it this is a good functionality to have um, groups set in your salesforce org so that you can share important information or knowledge with each other so everybody is up to date and up to speed okay that's a wrap let's verify this step and this would be the final um, section for the prepare your salesforce org for users so i'll see you on the next section in the next video for the admin certification preparation bada bing bada boom Woohoo! new badge hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom